constantly dealing with arc fault tripping issues with your Siemens breakers, I have a solution for you and it works every single time. Now let me give you a bit of a backstory. So as long as I've been contracting, I've pretty much been using uh, only Siemens panels, breakers, um, for no particular reason, just because that's, that's what my supplier had, that's what I started buying and I've just stuck with the same brand. It just makes it a little bit simpler. I'm always, uh, like I've always got a steady supply of breakers in a truck um, because it's always the same brand. So it just makes it easier and that's why I've kind of stuck with Siemens. But lately, uh, I mean, it's been going on for a while, but lately it seems like every house that I finish, there's always issues with microwaves and clothes washers. Like these are, these are new houses. It's not like people are having old appliances, whatever. Like this is brand new stuff, brand new breakers. And there's constantly tripping issues with microwaves and clothes washers. And the other thing is, there will be houses where there's no issues at all, nothing trips. And then there's houses where everything trips, like every single receptacle, whether it be like a garage door motor, it could be a baby bottle warmer plugged in in the bedroom somewhere, it could be something like a cell phone charger, just like any little thing in any receptacle that's arc fault protected can trip the breaker. And then, like I said, other houses, nothing. I've got Siemens in my own house. And the two and a half years I've been there in that brand new house, nothing ever trips. No vacuums, nothing. Like, everything's good. And I've done a lot of searching and reading online, trying to get to, you know, to the bottom of this issue. Um, what am I doing wrong? What can I do different? And, like, it, it doesn't make sense. Like, nothing. There's really nothing clear that you can find that'll that'll just kind of, like, you know, fix your issue or whatever. So... Um, I do have a solution how to fix it. I'm going to show it to you right now, but I'm going to show you how you can fix this and still stay to code. So I'm talking about Canadian Electrical Code, the CEC, okay? Um, I'll show you what I did over here to fix it. And I typically do this. I'll show you kind of like you can see this, uh, this device over here. This is what I install right now. And it meets code and it bypasses the arc fault breaker so. so i'll show you what i do to bypass or i guess to fix that tripping issue so this device right here is called a uh, blank face arc fault device so this is made by leviton you can see the brand right there i'm not aware of any other company that makes these maybe leviton is the only one i don't know but uh here's the box it comes in right here okay so it's called an arc fault, uh, where is it, it's right here. It's called a Smart Lock Pro AFCI blank face. So it's a blank face arc fault device, meaning you can't plug in. It kind of, it's almost like a GFI receptacle sort of with the buttons here. You have the reset and the test button, okay. Uh, but it doesn't have the slots that you can actually plug something into. So it's not a receptacle. That's why it's called a blank face. And the reason you would want this is because if you've already got your maximum number of receptacles on that circuit upstairs somewhere, I'm in the basement here in the, in the utility room. So upstairs on the main floor, if you've already got your maximum of 12 uh, receptacles on your circuit and you add another arc fault receptacle here, then you're going over your... Uh, your limit according to code so you can use this blank face one and then you can stay within code because this is not an actual device you can plug into anyways okay it's it's basically almost acting like a switch okay so typically to meet canadian electrical code standards you would have your combination arc fault breaker in your panel so one of these guys with the blue buttons uh, at least Siemens has blue, other ones have different colors. So uh, you would typically go from this breaker up to your first um, receptacle and so on, okay? So to bypass this, because this is giving me a tripping uh, issue, right? Um, like I said, any little thing can trip these. So what I typically do is my microwaves and my clothes washers 
I put them on these devices as, like as soon as before I turn the house over. Okay. Uh, when I'm just wiring my panel and putting in all my breakers, I just I just do this right away so that I don't have to come back here because it costs me time and money uh, to come back and, and fix issues later. So I just do this right away because I've learned my lesson and then I don't get any callbacks, okay? Now, to follow code, you need an arc fault. It needs to be on an arc fault circuit. So this is going to be your arc fault device, which means that I can put a standard... 15 or 20 amp breaker. So I believe that one that I was pointing to is right about here somewhere. Um, which one is it? Uh, washer laundry 15 right here. This 15, so circuit 5A, you can see it's a regular uh, 15 amp breaker. Okay. And then according to code from, from a breaker, from a panel up to your first device, it's got to be uh, protected. The wiring has to be protected, so either BX or conduit. Now, I'm not going to build conduit over here because I can you know, just run BX. It's a lot, a lot easier to work with. So up to the first device, it needs to be protected. So I've got my BX over here. And then this just has a line and load. Okay. I'll show you one right here that I have not installed yet. So right here on the back. Again, it's like it's like a GFI receptacle kind of. Uh, so you have your line on the top there. You have you have your load that's covered up by this little uh, tape over here, and you just wire them up, and you can reset your circuit. You can test it. So if it trips on an arc fault, this is what's going to trip, and your breaker probably wouldn't trip unless it's like an overload. Okay. So if you do this. And then this is the home run that typically this is this is a washer kind of laundry room circuit. Okay, so it comes down from the laundry room up into here. So this would be the home run. Typically, I would have had it inside the panel. But because I did this, I have it coming into this arc fault device. And from here, it extends into the panel. If you do this, you can put a standard 15 or 20 breaker. These devices are rated for 15 or 20 amps. So you can put a standard breaker and then you won't have your arc fault tripping issues anymore. I hope you guys found this video helpful. It's definitely a solution that works every time for me. Like I said, um, if I don't do this right away for the washers and microwaves, uh, I'm typically coming back once the customer moves in, starts using appliances and everything, I'm coming back and having to fix this stuff. So I've learned my lesson. I install them right away uh, before I leave the job site here. And I've never had a, a, a nuisance arc fault tripping issue when these are installed. If you like the video, if you found it helpful, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. If you have any comments, something that maybe I forgot to mention you want to add, maybe if you have your own solution that, that you know somebody can benefit from, definitely write in the comment section.